This noodle house favorite is truly satisfying. Fresh pan fried rice noodles smothered in a beefy gravy creates an awesome mouthfeel. It definitely hits the spot. Hey everyone, I'm Flo, dude is behind the camera, and we're all about simple food, simple faith. When I was pregnant with my daughter, I craved this dish all the time. Like it was the only thing I craved. So it was no surprise that it is also one of her favorite dishes. This recipe can be found in my new cookbook, Daily Special, and the link is in the description below. We're starting with half a pound of beef. I am using top sirloin today. It's not my usual cut of meat that I like to work with, but the flank steak was really expensive and this was like half the price. So that's what I'm using today. Just wanna cut it at an angle, um, kind of across the grain. If you look at the meat, you'll see that the strands are going this way and we're gonna cut it kind of slices at an angle. And this will just help with the um, texture of the beef. And once your meat is sliced, you're gonna transfer it to a bowl. Okay, adding a teaspoon of soy sauce. A teaspoon of Shaoxing wine. Shaoxing wine is just a rice wine, cooking wine. If you don't have it, you can use a dry sherry, or we've been known to use bourbon in the past. You can just use regular rice, rice wine. Um, if you don't want to use it at all, just add another teaspoon of soy sauce. And one teaspoon of cornstarch. That will just help to velvet the meat, and that adds to the mouthfeel. Stir this around until all the cornstarch is dissolved. While the beef is marinating, we're gonna get started on our sauce. I have one and a quarter cup of beef broth. I'm adding one teaspoon of sugar. One tablespoon of oyster sauce. One tablespoon of dark soy sauce. And dark soy sauce is gonna give it a richer brown color. But if you don't have dark, you can always use regular soy sauce. And that's it, I'm gonna give this a stir. Oh, one last thing. Quarter teaspoon of ground white pepper. Ground white pepper adds heat. It's kind of different from black pepper, but you can always just use black pepper if you like. And we'll set that aside. That was the sauce for the gravy, and we have another sauce for the noodles. I have an eighth of a teaspoon of white sugar, and I'm gonna add one tablespoon of dark soy sauce. Again, if you don't have dark, just use the regular soy sauce. And again, the dark gives the extra color that we're looking for. And two tablespoons of regular soy sauce. Dissolve the sugar and set that aside. Remember the tips of the green onions that I've been planting? Well, this is just like one stem of greens that grew from one of them. So I'm just gonna use this one giant stalk of a green onion. I mean, the whole stalk has like multiples of these leaves growing, but I just want to use this for garnish. So I'm gonna cut it up. I'm just gonna chop it up now. Probably the equivalent of what, like two stalks of the green part. I'm just gonna slice it up at an angle. You can cut it up however you want, and if you don't want to use any green onion, you don't have to, it's just garnish. But it also adds flavor. I also have a clove of garlic that I want to add. So I'm gonna chop that up. You can also run this through a garlic press if you like. We're also using two eggs. Just gonna lightly beat them in a bowl. Okay, that's it. We'll set that aside. 
We're using fresh rice noodles today and I am very privileged to be able to find freshly made uh, rice noodles. But you can also get them in the refrigerator section in most Asian markets. Already cut, but um, I'm gonna cut these myself. So just about three quarter inch thick. That's how I like it. I'm just gonna separate them a little bit. They don't have to be like individually because they're very thin otherwise, like that. So I just leave them kind of like four or five, um, four or five layers thick. Separating them will just make it easier for you to stir fry. Right, we're gonna get started. First with the noodles. So I'm gonna heat up my wok on medium high. You want to see that wisp of smoke and then add your oil. I'm using avocado oil today, two tablespoons. I haven't tried avocado oil. Uh, this is my very first time, but I read that it is good for high heat, just the same as canola oil and vegetable oil. So I thought give it a try. And adding my noodles now. Stir fry this for about a minute. Kind of heat it through. If you can't find fresh noodles, you can always use dried noodles. Just make sure that you follow the instructions on the package to rehydrate them before stir frying them. So we're gonna add that sauce for the noodles, which was the soy sauce and dark soy and sugar. I'm gonna make sure that the sauce is evenly dispersed. The noodles, so that the noodles are nicely colored. The noodles might stick to the bottom a little bit. Just make sure you get your spatula underneath and scrape it up. That's what adds the, um, the aroma and the extra flavor for the noodles. And the noodles are otherwise very bland if you don't add any flavoring to it. I'm gonna turn off the heat. Transfer it onto a plate. Turning the wok back on to medium high, adding another tablespoon or two of oil. We're gonna get our beef going. I'm gonna let it sear for about a minute. We can move the oil around a little bit. I'm gonna cook this until the beef is about 80% cooked through. Moving the beef to the side. I'm gonna add the garlic. Just stir fry for another 30 seconds or so until you smell the garlic. And we're gonna add the sauce, the gravy. Here you can scrape up some of the bits at the bottom, kind of like deglazing. We want this sauce to simmer. In the meantime, we're gonna make a cornstarch slurry to thicken the sauce. About a tablespoon of cornstarch. And a tablespoon of water. It has to be cool or room temperature water. Otherwise it won't dissolve. Sauce is now simmering. I'm gonna add our cornstarch slurry. Try to give it a good stir. Turning down the heat to a low, medium low. Oh, this looks so good. All right, I'm gonna add 
our egg. Just kind of drizzle it in ribbons. I'm going to let the egg cook a little bit. All right, turning the heat off. See how that dark brown color is coming out? That's because of the dark soy. So if you're just using regular soy sauce, it's not going to be this dark. Adding two teaspoons of sesame oil. And we're gonna spoon this right over our noodles. I wish you guys can smell this. It is, smells so good. Another option is if you don't have access to uh, this rice noodle, you can always just serve it on top of rice and it would be delicious. I'm putting it down because it's too heavy. And again, guys, it is such a great deal to just make it at home instead of ordering it out. The plate of this is probably like, what, 20 bucks? And the beef cost me less than five dollars so and the noodles were fairly cheap probably about two dollars adding the green onions for garnish and there you have it are you all ready for definitely Ooh, that smells so good the taste right, this is going to be a quick one like it took very quick to cook this i'm gonna just dig in there look at this i mean this is so saucy and as Flo said, if you don't have those rice noodles, uh, rock it with rice. It, look at all the sauce, it's gorgeous. Take noodles, get some beef. Okay, because they're fresh, uh, the texture's gonna be awesome, but uh, you're not gonna go wrong with any kind of noodles, almost any kind of noodles, rice noodles that you put in here. Oh. The sauce is so tasty. Mm. Noodles are chewy. Oh, beef is tender. Marinade game is strong and together. Just like restaurant, go flow. Awesome, thanks dude. Yeah. Even if you don't have rice noodles, you can have it on rice. You can have it on chow mein. You can have it on spaghetti, dare I say. I think it would be delicious any way you want to eat it. Again, this recipe is in my latest cookbook, Daily Special. Check it out.